There is a perseverance that comes forth from tenacity. Tenacity itself builds forth a new world, a new opportunity by the spiritual rebirth. We talk about divine emanation. But actually, it is also conception, immaculate conception. We end up seeing this rebirth of Christ. But there is a rebirth in the spirit itself that brings forth as divinity. Now, divinity itself is the idea of Shakina. So, the Shakina is actually shows forth the interconnection. They actually have a, a feminine and a masculine idea that's connected within the yes and the mouths so that they are interconnected. This is to understand that the living God worked it through each and every individual, although one and the same. It's as though Jesus says, but you don't understand, it's like the angels in heaven. But to even have that and to understand that that is that same perception, is that then that will give us a new way of viewing that Christ and the essence of God work it through everyone around us. Now, the perfect example I can give you is from Solomon. Solomon looks at his beloved and he uses Davide, Day, but he's looking at his wife. But he uses the name for his father. The same way that he saw the spirit of the living God that worked it through his father David, he also brought into the marriage relationship so that when we end up seeing the connection with Jesus Christ and the marriage to the church, it is showing the divinity, the Shakina. Shakina. But even at that, it is the same way that we end up seeing how we can take that love for a wife, for a father, for a son, for a daughter, and it's all the same spirit of God. It says that you might be entertaining angels and not know it. You need to treat everyone that you meet, regardless of their color, of their denomination within the church, whether they are man or whether they are woman. Equal. All equal before God. Martin Luther King said something I'll never forget. He said, it's not white power, it's not black power, it's God's power. When we look beyond the lines of sex, of segregation that we see within racial lines, and we start to come together as one race under God, the chosen race are those chosen by God. If we look at it as God's people, then we can start to come together. We can build forth that strength. People hear your voice, and they understand that it is because of that perseverance that we build forth from the greatness and divinity itself that we're forth from God is channeled into that divine emanation that brings forth the very creation and the formation of action in this world. That builds forth the kingdom. You end up receiving that spiritual foundation why right? it is the edification of the spirit itself and to understand that the spirit of the living God that worketh through you, worketh through all, that we are empty tonight. One and the same as of Christ Jesus. The same spirit that worketh through me, worketh through others in the same way. Because of that spirit, you end up having all of the spirits of this. It is wisdom, it is knowledge and understanding, it is the healing of God. There are mighty works, there are prophecy, the understanding and the discernment of the spirit helps us to receive all of this. All of it is founded in the Word of God. When you have the Word of God, you understand everything around creation. You'll hear something that will remind you of a scripture and you'll end up seeing it created within the flesh. And that's part of the blessing. It's to understand that God has given you wealth, riches, and righteousness beyond measure because of the love of the I want to pray for you to receive that. My prayer for you today is for wealth and righteousness to overflow in your life, for you to have abundant blessings and prosperity, for God to bless you, for him to bless your family, and for him to bless everything that you do. I want you to receive that blessing in the name of Christ Jesus. God bless you. God bless America, and I'll see you.